first grade welcome back i told you today we would look at an author studies chart so we're going to collect some data on that you voted on friday right i don't know all the days are blended together on your favorite authors now you could vote for three but some people voted for only two and some only voted for one and I had two people that didn't vote for any, so I'm sorry, your vote doesn't count. You didn't get it in on time. All right, so let's take a look. Our first author here, I was gonna put these pictures up here, but I made the boxes too small. We have Eric Carl. He wrote The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And Eric Carl got three votes. So I am going to take a tally this time, just like we do for How Are You Feeling Today? And I'm going to make three tally marks. One, two, three. So he got three votes. All right. The next one was David Shannon, and he wrote the No David books. And David Shannon got, you want to count them while I do them? He got six. All right. Now remember, when we get to five, what do we do? Slash it. One, two, three, four slash five, six. Okay, so he has six. And then Laura Numeroff. She's our only girl author that I put up there. I better find some more girl authors that I like, don't I? Um, I do know some girl authors, I like. But we had, ooh, she had seven, all right. So we need to make the five again with the with the slash and then two more, right? One, two, three, four, slash five, six, seven. Ooh, Laura Numeroff is in the lead right now. Okay, then we have Eric Litwin, who wrote Feed the Cat and the Nut Family, if you're a fan of the Nut Family like I am. And Eric Litwin got five votes. So let's do five for Eric Litwin. One, two, three, four, five. All right. This is Ezra Jack Keats. And I don't know that we've actually read, maybe in your seesaw, I haven't read too many Ezra Jack Keats. Um, but he got one vote. Probably somebody who likes snow because the snowy day is a beautiful book. Oh, that, that's a fun one to draw too. If you ever have, go look up videos, how to draw like Esther Jack Keats. And love this guy too, Mo Willems. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Oh, check this out. You ready? I'm going to, I'm going to do the tally marks and you have to count. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, I can feel the suspense building. Six, seven. Yeah, seven. Okay. Now, if we had a number chart, I would have Eric Carl have three, David Shannon would have six, uh, but I want you to be able to see. So I'm going to write over here on the side three. Six, seven, five, one, and seven. So we need to study three authors starting, no, maybe just two. Well, we know who's in third place. I can't remember. I don't have my calendar in front of me. Okay, so definitely we will be studying Laura Numeroff. We'll be reading some, if you give a, we'll circle that one. That's one of our winners. And Mo Willems, Don't Let the Pigeon Books. And he writes some pig books and an elephant. We'll, we'll read some of those. All right, so definitely these two, if we have time, then we will do our third place winner was David Shannon. Ooh. Excellent. All right, so you're going to take a look at the graphs that the math book gives you today. 
and you're going to have to tell me a little bit about some data. You might have to make a, a chart yourself, but you guys got this. All right, first grade, signing out. Maybe.